How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. My name's Nikki Bobby, we're Weed Snacks TV. Who are you guys? Hi, Christine. Tanner? With the Puckets. With yeah. the Puckets? <laughs> love it, love it. It's nice to meet you all. So, No Coast 13. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time? This is my first time. Nice, yes. awesome. I'm on my third. Third time, I beautiful. Came here in 2015 and 2016. 2015, 2016, nice, nice. Here we are doing it big today. Dude, has it gotten bigger <laughs> since Absolutely. those those times you were? I'm yeah. Sure there's probably like 100 drivers, maybe. <laughs> Only 100 drivers? I yeah. thought there was like 200 drivers oh. earlier. So today there's supposed to be 245 or more registered drivers this event. Oh my God, 245. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. What kind of car do you drive? So we rock a 93 Lexus G GS300. Oh, we like those Lexus GS300s. <laughs> so the lesser desired chassis, but I get them for free most of the time because people just don't want them. They That's... Get them as junkers and I look at them as a, a potential car. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I, I am a, a man of the same breed. <laughs> I like shit boxes that nobody likes. That's for sure. Yeah. So, okay, uh, what kind of things do you have done to the car? So, it's a 1JZ BBTI swap. Okay. We've got LS coil packs on it. Um, it's an ECU Masters EMU Black that runs it. Okay. Uh, there's a Tomei uh, Arms Turbo with the ball bearings set up. Uh, 1050cc injectors, 400 uh, LPH fuel pump. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's set up to run probably 8 to 900 horsepower, but uh, the thing to do is build it for that and then drive it at 400 so you don't blow it up ever. Right. And drive the ever living crap out of it. Right, right. I like that theory. That's a really good logic to have with it. Yeah, because it'll run you longer. <laughs> you could abuse it, like you're saying, a lot longer. We basically had my, my friend Brad at work. He helped me design a, a knuckle adapter for my car so I could get more angle. Okay. And we've gone through a few iterations of it and I think this is like version 3 that we're on. It's always uh, the third version that's the best version. <laughs> oh man, the car is insane now. Yeah. I didn't really get to test it out too much before this. Uh, we did go to like a Pikes Peak International Raceway okay. last month. No, a month before July. Yeah, I think uh, that was in July. Yeah. 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 What month are we in again? <laughs> September now. I said that this morning. I was like, it's, <laughs> it's September 2nd already. <laughs> it's, it's a ride of a car to pack pack the car with people and go out there. It's, it's a yeah. good time. Yeah. It helps you gain traction. Right. And practice and knowledge. Yeah. I didn't ask, where are you guys from? Where are you located? Rapid City, South Dakota. Rapid City, South Dakota. Wow. Okay. We're in the Black Hills. Okay. Sick. Yeah. Sick. Beautiful. That's a beautiful part of the country. It is. I love how many people, like, I have I always thought this was just like Texas, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, Nevada. But to see South Dakota, Wyoming, uh, somebody from Minnesota, Florida. 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 Yeah. Like, yeah, so, so Australia, yeah. like all around from around the world, I don't, around the country. I love, love, love it and, and just what it brings it's in. It's amazing how far it spreads and brings people here and everybody's here to have a good time. Yeah. Everybody's friendly. It's sort of the nicest people you'll ever meet at any event. It's yeah. Not like this. So let me ask you this. What do you think about, like in comparison, no coast to the takeover scenes and all of that? You know, we, we get a lot of cup we think thinking people are like, are like, you're not taking over kids, are you? Yeah. No. No. We're, we're trying to present ourselves as like something more than that. We, we bring our race trailer around, we, we do tires for people, like we got everything set up so that we can help people out. Right. Uh, you go out to those street takeovers, I've never actually been to one, I've right, seen right. videos. Yeah. And it's just a bunch of hooligans. Tearing things up, destroying stuff, hitting people, people making yeah. ev everything look bad, and they're out there crushing cars because of it. Right. <laughs> Rental cars, or their parents' cars, or cars they shouldn't have had credit for. The neighbor, the neighbor's car, that yeah, the neighbor's car they borrowed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I used to work in a used car uh, department of the dealership I was at, and we would always laugh when we would see the challengers and the chargers. 
come in from, you know, you'd get the rental paperwork from the glove box from where it came from, and the power steering rack was cooked on it because <laughs> it was pinned all the way to the left and right and so dirt all over the it. Reason, the reason I rolled up on you guys is because I caught you pulling in off of sliding off the track. You yeah. got off the track, right? Oh, yeah. 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 How long you been sliding? Since November. And you got into it when? Um, You're driving. I'm driving, yeah. I thought you were driving well, the way you explained it. Driving. This is it. This is cool. I, You're she, on the girl squad in, drift bar. Says, <laughs> yes. She says, my husband drives. You got to get him over here. I'm like, okay. I'm just expecting another drifting guy. This guy comes in and he's got a shirt on that says what? Show me Show him, shirt, show him, show him. I was trying to get to this too. Dude. Are you, and so I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. You started drifting at what event? Uh, the Thanks for bringing this up. Drift Day in Colorado at Pikes Peak International Raceway. It was, it was a girls' in November. So, in November, okay. Yeah, it was a girls' so, event. Yeah. yeah. So there's females in drifting hard. There are, yes. And there's uh, a girl. They're doing yeah. big stuff. There's a huge scene here of ladies that are right. that are getting ready to drift too. I'm yeah. so stoked to see. <laughs> You didn't. You should have dropped that in on me. She's doing really good. You, that's so, great. I can't wait to see you out there now. And so then, now let's take bring me for it back a ride. Yeah. I got my 360 so, cam. Yeah. So, what? What? You've been in drifting since I. Gosh, I, I did my first event when I was probably 15 or 16. Okay. Wow. Um, and then up in South Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> now, fast forward to last year. August of last year, I, I was uh, doing some paramotoring. Uh, it was the opening night of the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, and me and three of my friends were up there buzzing around on paramotors. And those are, you got a big paraglider above you. Okay. Uh, like what you see at the beach or on the coast or whatever, or uh -huh. up in the mountains. But then you fix a motor to your back with the back stra backpack straps, and you have okay. a harness and all that. And you can take off from the ground, go fly wherever you want. It's, it's honestly, just as exhilarating as drifting and it was hard to choose in between the two but this is a what shows drifting now <laughs> so last august tanner was flying and uh he flew into an unmarked power line oh up my here god in Sturgis rally so we were supposed to be here last august for this event but we were in the hospital for about two and a half months and then um, wow. we got we were in colorado at um, the swedish medical center in the burn icu tanner went through multiple surgeries, amputations, and um, we got home in October. Tanner went back to work in December. I went back to work in January. Um, but during that downtime, yeah. you know, just everything that we went through last year, that women's trip event was happening. We had to go down to Colorado bi-weekly for doctor's appointments. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this would be fun to do. Like, I've never drifted before, but I've been around it for over a decade. So yeah. um, I got in and I literally don't know what I'm doing out there, yeah. but I'm having a good time. So. That's the point of it. <laughs> yeah. That's and the point I'm of having it. so That's, much fun. Yes. I'm glad you both are here. Okay. Yeah. You, very you said, story. I'm not done. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you were like, because yeah. you were telling Amen. me, he's like, man, I'm, not, I'm still healing. Yeah. You're still in the middle of healing. Wow. And you're like, no, nah, we're drifting. Wow. I, I don't want the, the depression to get to me, you know? Yeah, so yeah dude. All, all we can do here is move forward. And if I sit on the couch and stare out the window, that's no good for me. So Right. Uh, we actually brought the driving sim in the RV, so we can do some practicing as well. Uh, there's yeah. ideas on there on a set of Corsa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's incredible, dude. Yeah. I'm, Very I'm, incredible. I'm entirely inspired by yeah. the fact that I don't even know how to drift, right? And so you you just jumped right back in it and you people have supported you and helped you to stay. You know, we, we got, uh, we call it Puckett Skid Shop, right? It's a conglomeration of my buddy Cody. Cody Slacker's his name. He's got Slacker Specialties is what he's calling himself. And that man keeps my car up and going. Uh, there's uh, Charlie's Vape Shop. My buddy Shannon owns that. He comes and helps and we, we have like a, a friend group of like 10 or 15 people that literally come help uh, pull the car apart, fix everything yeah. that's wrong with it, and just keep everything well maintained. So her and I get to do a bunch of driving. And I mean, I try to let as many people that, that help get to drive it as well because it's an absolute ride of a car. Right. And if they're out there lending a hand, I don't, I don't got hands to give. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the least I do is uh, let him drive the car and yeah. enjoy it as much as I do. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it's entirely um, that's very cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is, to, this is amazing. It's, it's cool. Amazing. The, the next time I what a team. difficulty in life, I'm going to think about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop bitching, Scott. Yeah. Just take care of business, man. That's yeah. <laughs> definitely put a whole lot of things in All right, so you, got, you have social media. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. Yep. My name is Tanner Puckett, and I, I literally just oh. have the, the Tanner Puckett Facebook, and then at Tanner Baby, T A N R Baby, oh. on Instagram. And you're, you do hair, so you got like two that you can tell them. Yeah. Oh, tell them, push Steen, it. At Steen, be styling, Steen, S T I N E. Uh, or my personal is oh. at underscore Steen with three eyes. So. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. real quick, yep. you just told. You, you just told your friend to go take the car out and show him you're doing an interview with us. Right? So that's, that's Andy. He's got the Scoundrels uh, RX-7. Um, and he just broke his differential last night. Aww. And heck, he's got all these tires left. And all, all the Lexus does is kill him. So might as well let him kill some tires. He drove all the way down here. I think he's from Colorado. So. What, why waste the trip? Yeah. Dude. We'll take it? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> we found the coolest guy. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Definitely. For real. Uh, so, I'm, I'm just out here trying to like spread the joy of. Okay, so yeah. uh, do me a favor though. Flex flex what it is that you really do, that you're really good at. Yeah. Those so, numbers. I, I work at the Dodge Ram uh, dealership back home. And I, I used to do NASA parts. Before that, I was a mechanic. But the parts still just really got me. Um, got really good with parts, part numbers and memorizing them. Um, I, I was working on all makes at, at Napa, so tractors to um, whatever, like big trucks and stuff. When I put together my car, um, I had to find like every every little part because nobody makes crap for them. Right. So everything was like trying to discover like what works, what doesn't work. I, I get a lot of uh, repeat customers that come back j just because I, I try to go to like every uh, end of the earth to help people. Um, that's, that's honestly like what brings me a lot of joy is like people will call a store like, oh, they discontinued that part like 10 years ago. And they're like, what do I do now? Well, let me go cross-reference parts. So let me see what I can find. And I'll, I'll literally call every store in Rapid, wh whatever I can find for that person, just to get them going again. It's yeah. guys like you who help guys like me and multiple other dudes who are building project cars and can't make what's there to work. And they go searching through the forum and there's your post that says, use this and this, here's the part numbers. Yep. It's, I appreciate <laughs> it, I appreciate it. It's a good time, it's a lot of fun figuring that stuff out. It is. And it's even more fun spreading the word and yeah. helping people figure that out faster. Exactly. It may have taken me a few months to do it, but it'll take you a few moments for me. <laughs> yeah, and all it takes is just reaching out and being friends with somebody and them saying, you know, oh, just use this bolt, do this part, do that. You know, somebody who's gone through it with the experience is a valuable person yeah. to have. So we appreciate you. We appreciate both of you. Oh, so. Yeah. Grateful he's still here. Oh, I'm gonna say I'm grateful he's still here too. So, real quick, yes. before you guys go, name off the cars you got. Yep. We have a 93 Lexus GS300. We currently actually have three of them. Yes. <laughs> it's a bad uh, collection of them, but uh, you gotta have parts cars to maintain the one. Amen. I've got two 89 240s, like SXs. Uh, one I've had since I was 13. It's still kind of in pieces. The other one's sitting in my backyard. Uh, it's like all stock, single cam, like super desirable. And I plan on letting it sit there and being my uh, retirement. Amen. <laughs> we, we've got our Winnebago, it's 36 foot. And then my 24 foot trailer. I, bought, I got the RV from my mom. Trailer I bought prior to my accident. I was really trying to set up to like go to events and like be self-maintained. Um, gosh, I've, I've had about 13 240s though. <laughs> I, I used to be a hardcore Nissan guy, but uh, I kept blowing up LSs, I blew up RBs, I blew up SRs, I blew up KAs. Um, I've, I really try to test the cars to the, the best of their abilities and so far this 1J is just taking every bit of it. And there, it was, iron horses, yeah. It's like the giving tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it really is, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I've heard that before about them. Yeah, that's true. That's a sad story. So I'm going to go ahead and get that LS I found in Tucson. Yes. We're getting your number, and I'm taking all the clips like you Yeah. For sure. Act you some sway. Dude. That's the only way I was able to make them last. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm, everything you tell me, we're yeah. doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Many blessings. You Absolutely. Yes. Thank yes. you for joining yes. us. Thank, Thank you for being for here. The time to talk Absolutely. To us. I know you waited a while and then you missed out on driving a little bit. Sorry there's, about that. There's honestly uh, so much driving time at these events. And for being an A driver, I'm in the C group. So we have like the time in between. And I, I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Many blessings. Thank you all for being Thank here. Thank you for having us. Many blessings, oh, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, so you. Much. Yes. <laughs> we'll catch you out on the track. Sounds good. Thank you. Have Blessing. a great day. That was quite quite interesting. Yeah. That oh, was yeah. a very uh, got a good little inspiring moment. In there. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. That was like, like you said, that was more than an interview. That was like a like a human inspiration Dude. story that <laughs> yeah, I will like remember the rest of my life. Oh my god. For real. I, I, cause you know, you're walking through the track and these girls slide in and you're like, that was cool. That was super cool, Jake. I'm glad you brought that up cause I forgot, I and I feel dumb forgetting about it, about the ladies getting the huge opportunity to run this time. Yeah, they're sliding and I, hard. I think that's super awesome. Bring yeah. them out here. So, so she's pulling in and this other girl's like, you go, chick. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, can I talk to you? I want you to tell everybody about it. She's like, I'm cool. But my husband's cooler, and I'm like, I don't think he could do that. How could he be cool? <laughs> yeah, right? he be cool. <laughs> yeah. So, um, right as Dustin's doing the interview, they they roll up and they're like, "Hey," and he's like, "I look at his shirt," and I'm like, "He's like, can you slide me?" He's like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Oh my god, tell we're me talking about to it, you." Dude. And he's like, I, "You know, if I wasn't ready to take flack, I wouldn't have worn this shirt." You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I was like, "Please just tell everybody about it." So many of us are not using these things to a full potential and he's using all kinds of yeah. it to the fullest yeah. potential to the fullest it's fucking cool yeah. yeah very cool dude thank you for hanging out yeah. with us Hey, Weed Snackers, wasn't that an amazing inspirational story? Listen, Tanner didn't ask us to do this. We're just doing this on our own because we were so inspired by him. The reality is that Tanner needs help still to cover his medical bills. We're gonna put a link at the end of this video we'd like you to click on. It takes you to Tanner's GoFundMe page where you can donate to help him pay for some of his medical bills. I can't think of a more inspiring or more worthy person worthy of your generosity. So please give what you can to Tanner and let's make him whole again. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you again at Wheat Snacks.